Hi everyone, Pete Calamain here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So this is our first video in the wearable design project after the introduction. We're going to design a wearable heart rate sensor. Now first of all, today in this video, we're going to look into sensing. So let's dive into it. First thing we are going to need for our wearable design, of course, is a correct sensor. We're making a wearable heart rate sensor, so we're looking into what kind of system or chipset we could use for that. Now, first of all, I'm looking for a chipset, something similar like this. Ideally, that has everything integrated. Also, the optics integrated to have minimal form factor, if possible, and to keep everything simple in our design. So that's one of the first things I will be looking into. Next is, of course, the size. We want to get it as small as possible because it's a wearable design. Ideally, we make it as small as possible. Power consumption, as we discussed in the introductory video, of course, if the system is in sleep, it should draw as less current as possible. And then embedded processing, ideally, we have a chip um, that just gives it us the heartbeat and that's it. Now that might be a bit very ideal, but let's see what we could come up with. So I did some searches for heart rate sensors, pulse oximetry sensors, and these are, let's say, the best ones that came up in the search. Um, so first of all, there is one from Maxim, a uh, sensor, looks like this. So it has integrated optics, there's also uh, processing on board, or there's at least communication on board. So there's LED drivers, there's LEDs internally, there's a photodiode, there's even the optics packaging cover glass included. And then there's a nice square c communication link. So that could be an option for us to use. A second chipset that I found is the MAX86141. Now this is not with integrated optics. So there's a couple of LED drives over here. There's photodiode inputs. It is a very compact chipset. Um, so it's a BGA, very small pitch, 0.4 millimeter pitch. So this is a very small footprint, but we don't have, let's say, the luxury of having diodes, uh, LED drivers on board. So maybe for this project, not that ideal. Another one that pops up is one from AMS. So again, integrated sensors over here. In terms of package size, it is 7.5 millimeters by 3.9. Our max 3010, let's have a look here at the dimension. It's 5.6 by 3.3. So it's still a bit smaller than the AMS. This is also an interesting one uh, that came up in the search uh, from Room Semiconductor. It is a very small one. It's 2.8 by 2.8, but you have an external LED to be put on there. What is on chip here is a photodiode. That's ideal. There's LED drivers on board, uh, but you need to place these LEDs externally. What you don't have done, of course, is the optics, the cover glasses um, for these LEDs. So it might be a bit less ideal in your design, or it could be the one to go for if you're really constrained in sizing. Uh, so that's, that's an option as well. But for today, because of the fact that everything is integrated in here, I'm going to go with uh, this one. So first thing is integrated optics. Uh, we have a couple of options there, so we chose uh, the maximum size is covered as well. Now maybe let's look at power consumption and embedded processing. So let's look at power consumption first uh, for the maximum chipset. So we can go here to the electrical characteristics. What we see is power supply voltage for the logical circuitry is 1.8. LED supply voltage is either 3.3 or 5 volts, depending on the, the color of the LEDs you would like to use. The green one needs a bit a higher voltage, around 5 volts. Now in terms of supply current for the logic system, um, there will be, if you're in an active mode, around 600 micrograms of current draw. If you're going to put the system in a shutdown, so this is a firmware shutdown, give the system over I C the command to go into sleep mode, we're looking at 0.7 microamps. So for wearable applications, battery powered applications, um, if you want to put the system in a low sleep mode, in a sleep mode, a low power mode, this could be interesting, or you could also power gate the, the full IC. That's an option. Now what is not included here is the LED current. So um, let's maybe look at how the system is made up. So you have inside, there's, let's say, a logical block or a couple of logic blocks where the interfacing is towards your microcontroller that is powered with the VDD at 1.8 volts. And then there's also LED drivers. Uh, the LEDs, they have a different supply voltage. Now, it's not so clear in this data sheet what the LED current is exactly. Why is that? Because the LED current can be programmed from 0 to 50 milliamps. 
um, with the proper supply voltage of course. It all depends a bit on how you're going to use it if you need more or less current drive for these LED drivers. So again I think to be evaluated in your system uh, to see if that is feasible or not. Uh, evaluation boards exist of course typically for any IC you can think of. Uh, so this might be an interesting one to test. There is also one for this one, uh, that is this board. And what is of course very interesting for us is that there, was, there is already a schematic provided. So we looked into power consumption. How about embedded processing? Well, if you read up a bit about the sensor, what you will see is that there's a quite broad I2C interface. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do, but there's still raw data going over that interface. You will not have, uh, let's say, embedded processed data or edge processed data over here, just giving you a heart rate. So you will need to have some code running on a microcontroller to, let's say, extract the heart rate, the exact heart rate out of this data, the raw data. For all the sensors that I have been looking into, it was exactly the same thing. So there's no clear edge processing uh, on these ICs that exist. You have to do it off board. It has to be offloaded. Now, let's go to the next step. So we had this overview I've shown you uh, in the previous, in the introduction video. So there's a sensing schematic doc that we're going to make today. Now what is in here, very simple. Uh, it's a really easy IC to work with. So a lot of not connects. We have the, lot, the LED power supply over here. Then we have our logical supply voltage, 1.8 volt. And we have our external interfacing, uh, I2C, SCLSDA lines, and an interrupt line. Um, there will be pull-ups needed on both the I2C lines and also on the interrupt line, but um, they will be also, let's say, tied to an external voltage, uh, depending on the microcontroller voltage that we're going to use. We will tackle that in a later video. So for now, I have just foreseen ports. It will come externally and will handle these things externally in another schematic dock. Most important thing here, of course, in the sensing schematic dock is that the sensor is in there. Then in the next video around power consumption, we're going to dive a bit deeper into how we can exactly arrange this power uh, system. Because of course, we're going to work with a lithium battery. This will be typically around 3.7 volts. Now we need 5 volts for the LED and 1.8 um, for the VDD. So we have to boost and buck uh, at the same time for this sensor. Makes it a bit more interesting. Um, this might for instance be an interesting DC-DC converter to use, but we're going to look into that in the next video. One thing I would like already like to mention over here is the power gating. So in the data sheet it's mentioned that you can via firmware, so via an I2C command, you can put the system in sleep mode. It's still drawing 0.7 microamps. Now if you really want to have 0 amps being drawn, then you can use these load switches. So I've put two load switches in here. These are very small ones, uh, BGA load switches. So in terms of footprint, it will not hurt our design. But then we, we really have granular control on the 1.8 volt and 5 volt supply. So that's it, short video today on sensing. Next video, we're going to delve into the design of the power system for this. Looking forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.